got Dorian Thompson Robinson. Question. Dorian, that was a good good win for you guys today. Offensively, uh, you and Zach uh, were in a good rhythm. He caught a lot of passes in addition to his uh, running. Um, how would you kind of evaluate the way the offense played tonight? Yeah, I thought we did uh, really well executing the, the overall game plan. Uh, I think the little details and fundamentals of things still got to get cleaned up. And uh, I think overall, uh, we did a good job collectively, though, for sure. So you, you obviously took some hits out there. How are you doing physically right now? Doing good. Uh, nothing serious. I'll be a little sore in the morning, but uh, glad to get the win for sure. Always makes me feel better. How did you get this win in this way after last week? Just what does that show about this team's demeanor and this team's experience to be able to bounce back so uh, quickly and comprehensively? Yeah, for sure. I think it's uh, just shows the maturity level. Um, you know, we have a lot of older guys on this team, uh, especially guys on the defensive side and offensive side of the ball, um, being able to step in throughout the week and uh, kind of let guys know here and there that, you know, we got to get this stuff corrected and stuff like that. So um, I think overall it just shows the maturity level. Zach's made so many big plays by now. Does he still wow you when he's out there doing that stuff, or is it just kind of Zach being Zach? No, for sure. I always get to watch the replays because I'm trying to pull defenders with my play fakes. Um, but getting to hear the crowd hype and everything, you know, it definitely brings juice to the team and everything. And, um, you know, for me personally, uh, Zach's someone I always try to feed off of. He makes a big play here. I make a big play there um, and, and vice versa. So uh, Zach is definitely a great dude to defend off of when, when you know, things aren't going my right way. I can always look towards him and, and lean on him for sure. So. Dorian, how does it feel to go into November knowing that you guys have a viable shot to the conference game, especially now that divisions don't exist and kind of things are in your control? This is what we wanted. This is what we expected. Uh, and now that it's here, it's it's time for the real work to start. Um, you know, we haven't been in this position at least as long as I've been here. Uh, so you know, we gotta we gotta find some some deep digging to do and. And really, really clean some stuff up so we can get this thing done. So, what, what, uh, just following up on that, the cleanups. What, what needs to be cleaned up? Uh, I mean, I'll have to go back and watch through the film and stuff. But uh, off rip, um, there's. Yeah, I had a few bad passes that I would like back. We got some drops here and there. Some miscommunication up front, all line wise. Um, you know, Zach is gonna kill himself for that fumble uh, later throughout the week in practice. So. Um, just little things, like I said, it's nothing big, and that's the best part about this. Uh, the best part about this offense is, you know, guys understand that, and um, you know, there's not any any uh, pointing fingers or anything like that. It's always, um, you know, self improvement and, and how can we do better as individuals, and then it all comes together collectively as a group. So, Cats had that home run touchdown, 72 yarder. Just to have him and Zach kind of that one two punch. How much just comfort does that give you as the quarterback? Yeah, for sure. And really all our offensive weapons, um, you know, it, it's a it's a blessing uh, and a blast to be out there with those boys um, just because, you know, it makes my job a lot easier. I'm really not out there doing a whole lot um, besides just operating what's given to me. And uh, I have a lot that's been given to me with the, with the boys on this team. So, uh, like I said, it, it, it makes my job really easy. Um, but in terms of Zach and Kaz, uh, especially when you move Kaz to back and you see the speed and everything, uh, you know, we, we get on him all the time about him getting caught all the time and or him not getting all the way through. So, um, for sure, happy for him to, to see him break one finally, for sure. So. With the experienced team that you have, could you tell Sunday or Monday that they had flushed the Oregon loss and were ready to look ahead? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I could tell, shoot, as soon as we landed in L.A. Uh, Saturday night, um, you know, that was a really tough plane ride, uh, a lot for us to sit there and think about up in the air. And, uh, you know, I think once we touched down, we had a different taste in our mouth and, and we're ready to go and get back out on the field again and, and, and get one more shot at it. Uh, you know, for, especially for guys like me, uh, I only have like four or five more weeks here um, as a Bruin before we start in the bowl game and all that stuff. So. Um, I'm trying to take advantage of every opportunity I can. I can't hang my hat or anything on, on stuff we've done in the past or, or uh, 
cry about it or whatever you want to call it, but um, you know, I think this whole team has had that mindset, and that comes from the top down. Of you know, we got to look for it every time. We can't look in the past anymore. And, um, we got to get stuff corrected. So. Now, just what was it like getting a win over Stanford here? The past two times you played against them here, they were shootouts, and you guys fell short. Yeah, I'm not really looking at the opponent. Um, I'm just happy to be one to know this week. Um, and, and be able to get back on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday next week and be able to correct the things that we didn't do in this game. So,